30 days without surfing make you start questioning everything. Your place feels wrong. Reality gets muffled in a mixture of tediousness and exasperation. You consider your options. I believe that one of the fundamental attitudes of man should be to recognize in himself a lack of understanding or a lack of action. And yet, in some fleeting moment, say, through a gentle smile of a beautiful woman, or even through the gracious trajectory of a waving body, we may experience that something we call the absolute. In such miraculous but extremely fragile moments, another dimension transpires through our reality. start to improve when we stop complaining about what surrounds us and start questioning ourselves. When we resolve to supply ourselves and the environment with what seems to be lacking. In other words, when we move from a censoring defeatist attitude towards one of optimistic creativity. We start building a treasure, out of waste. All our courage should be invested in constructing. The main task of our times is to create a sort of poetry able to deal with the outcasts of our own civilization, a kind of new spirituality that does not retreat into the idealization of an untouched nature, but is willing to accept all the waste we produce and create some kind of aesthetic experience with it. Love plays a crucial role in this process. Love is not about idealization, but the acceptance of a faulty reality. Look around you. Look around you open-hearted, open-minded, without prejudice. That image is never innocuous. It is so much a perception of reality as it is a projection of your experience, of your desires and fears. It is up to you to make the best of it. How much of what you waste could you put to new use? How much of what you need could you actually do yourself? And we're slow to acknowledge the knots in our laces, our devices. And we go back to where we moved out to the places, our devices. I'm falling in a can, stirred it with.